Hi, my name is Ralph Burns and I'm with the District Department of Transportation Streetcar Program. We're here today to talk about safety at intersections for pedestrians. There are certain intersections where we need the public to pay extra attention to the cross patterns. There's a couple of intersections where typically when you think that it's your turn to walk, it won't be your turn to walk. And the one that's right behind me at 3rd and H is one of those intersections. The reason it's set up this way is when the streetcar is coming close to the intersection, it has to traverse from the outside lane to the center lane. And the streetcar will come up to its platform, it'll make a call to a signal box, it'll put it in its cycle and it'll say, okay streetcar, it's your turn to go. This is when we need you to be extra careful and really pay attention to the pedestrian signs. When a streetcar comes through, it takes over the intersection, creating a safe path for the streetcar and also queuing up the pedestrians not to cross. All the automobile traffic is stopped and the pedestrian signals are stopped and this creates the space that allows the streetcar to move through safely. There are three different signal systems at an intersection for streetcar. There's a streetcar signal, which you'll see right here. This lets the streetcar operator know when he or she cannot go through the intersection. Also at the intersections are automobile signals, red, yellow, and green. Also, there are pedestrian signals at our intersections, and that is a walk, don't walk. Wait. Everyone is responsible and should pay attention to their signals, so moving through an intersection can be conducted safely and efficiently. It allows safe operation for the streetcar, safe operation for you, and allows the system to move fluently as we're trying to get you to where you're going on H and Brought to you by DDOT.